third down structure, the kind of the stuff I'm going to talk about tonight is, you know, we, we take, we, we pride ourselves on having these pre-snap presentations. Okay. And I'm going to talk about, you know, four, four primary ones. Okay. And I've been a part of a lot of systems where you're going to see, you might see some three down in, the, in these clips I show from other schools, but here at Miami, you know, we're, we have a three down package as well, but you know, I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys the four down stuff tonight and show you these different pre-snap presentations. We try to, we try to give offenses and do different things out of them. So we have a four down with, with, with the two high or a one high shell pre-snap. And we have a five up look out of two high. We have a five up look out of a one high safety look. And then your six up plus looks where you have multiple guys on the line of scrimmage trying to dictate the protection that way. And those are kind of the looks that I'm going to, I'm going to break those down for you and kind of get into uh, from a coverage standpoint out of those, you know, you can play wh whether you're a team that likes to be simple or play a whole bunch of different coverages and combo coverages. You know, we play a, a lot of variations of cover two quarters, man, three and three cloud. We roll the coverage one way or the other. Um, but, you know, that's what, all, you know, we play a lot of that stuff on first and second down too. So there's a lot of same as teaching for us. Um, and that goes hand in hand with what I'm going to talk about when it comes to the blitz pass. Uh, you know, we try to really teach fundamentals and concepts here. You know, the fundamentals of, of rushing the quarterback and when you're an edge rusher versus an interior rusher and, and when I have time and space to avoid a block from a running back or when I need to, need to go put that guy in the quarterback's lap uh, or when I need to fit underneath the block to, to get the quarterback off the spot. You know, we try to focus on, you know, taking direct direct paths to the quarterback and, and teach the fundamental the fundamentals of rushing the passer and, and, and using our hands and things like that. And then the, and then the blitz concepts, because we're going to have these, these pressures that carry over from first and second down, but it might be a different guy rushing the passer on third down. So he's got to know, you know, in this blitz, we have an edge rusher, a, a, a heel runner, uh, and, and, and a long stick or whatever, whatever it might be. And the same thing goes for coverage. You know, we play these variations of coverages, but you need to understand what a strong hook drop, a weak hook drop, a curl drop is, a flat drop is, and, and try and, and we try to do a good job in our, in our group work and, an individual work of, of teaching what those drops look like and what those coverages look like so that regardless of the position you're in, you might be playing a different role on third down, uh, but you need to be able to, to, to do all those jobs. And so, so we, we try to have simple variations off of these looks with a lot of same as teaching. So we're not installing a brand new, a brand new blitz or brand new pressure or brand new coverage. It just might be a, a change in one or two guys jobs and the other nine guys doing the same stuff they normally be doing. So trying to keep as much same as for the other guys as possible. Uh, and then we, we truly, we firmly believe in that twist games reign supreme. Uh, we, we try to, you know, junk it up up front and do, do a lot of twisting and, and different stunts you'll see on tape based on what we're getting from the offense and when I'll show you when and why we like these things. Um, but, but we're a firm believer in that and trying to make offensive linemen pick that stuff up and pass things off. And then, uh, you know, to me personally, like your third down package has got to tell a story. You have the opportunity to paint a picture throughout the course of a season and, and how you build upon that. And, and we have this that looks that, that, that we've only done this out of. Can we can we do something that marries up with that? And you have to do a good job of, of you know, you can't come into a, to a new program or new job or new staff and try to do something you've done at some other school that doesn't fit what you guys do. So it's got to it's got to fit what you do. So, you know, what, what I show tonight might not necessarily fit you know, maybe your system, but at least you can hopefully gain something out of this by, by, by seeing that, you know, if you have presentations that can look the same and you can do multiple things out of them, to me, there's a lot of value in that. A lot of value in making quarterbacks make post-snap decisions. So what, what's the story? Are you doing a good job of self-scouting what you've done throughout the course of the season? And then, and then really trying to paint a picture of what the quarterback is anticipating and expecting, and then try to give him something different, you know, and, 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 and self-scouting your, your blitz demeanor, what foot is up, all that stuff, you know, alignments, you know, safety rotations, all that stuff is important to self scout, in my opinion. Um, and then always having a plan for for empty, uh, going into a week and motion to empty and, and specific alignments and splits. You know, are you going? Are you willing to pl to play man versus the bunches, the the the, the, the snuggled looks? Are you going to check out of it? What's your? Are you going to blitz it? You know, having a different plan that isn't always the same, but but got to have an answer for it and a plan for it. Uh, where you can still be on the attack and not not be reactionary to to offenses that are going to come out and give you those things because you're going to get a lot of motion, uh, which I think is great with what we do. We handle motion <laughs> in a very easy way that holds the same shell. So that's kind of our philosophy and structure. 